Hello and welcome to another episode here at Big Man Awards. My name is Mark, your online scout leader, helping you become a better scout leader. Now, this week, the UK Scout Association has done something they haven't done since 1986, and that is to start a new section. So you've probably heard it all over the news. The new section is called Squirrels, aimed at four to five-year-olds. Now this week, uh, it's been all over the press, and in particular, Bear Grylls was on a breakfast TV channel, um, launching it on Thursday. And I was watching the interview and I thought, Bear, you didn't answer all those questions correctly. So do you know what I'll do? We're gonna do a reaction video, woo! <laughs> uh, and try and answer, well, expand some of Bear Grylls' answers that he was asked live um, by Martin. Uh, so let's head over to ITV and we'll watch the interview at the same time. We work closer to home, Bear Grylls, who is also the chief leader of the Scouts, and you're launching a new group for the younger generation is coming along. Uh, it's the Squirrels, isn't it? Squirrel Drays, four to five-year-olds for the first time will be part of the Scouting movement. It, this is big change. <laughs> Bear Grylls, everyone knows my man crash about there. It is, yeah. First time in 35 years that the Scouts have opened up Scouting to a different age group. So we've had, mm. obviously, Cubs and Beavers and Explorer Scouts, but... Now we've got this younger age of four to five-year-olds called squirrels. Uh, and it's really a response, though, to overwhelming demand of young people to want to get involved in scouting. You know, we've got 60,000 young people on the waiting list at the moment to join the scouts. So we piloted this in, in some of the toughest, most underserved areas, most diverse areas of the whole country, and it went crazy. In fact, it was started in, in Northern Ireland about two years ago. They've been running over there, so it's been going really well. And I know some squirrel leaders uh, who I was speaking to during COVID um, and said it's just amazing. And uh, so today we opened 200, as you say, squirrel drays. So a really exciting time for, uh, for everyone involved in scouting. Uh, it's not as one journalist said to me, so you're opening scouting for 45-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> Bad joke, Bear. Bad joke. No. That would be good. I said, I'm in. It's four to five-year-olds. Forty-five-year-olds can be scouts, though, can't they? Hey, once a scout, always a scout. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. Oh, what happened to scouting during lockdown? Because that must have been a massive challenge. It was, a, it was a massive challenge, you know, but we adapted and, and actually we're coming out of it really strong and this is such a positive thing mm. for... You know, I think young people, as you know, we all know, the, the ones that have suffered most during this last 18 months and... Young people need the whole thing of adventure and friendships and connection and community. And this is opening it up to that age group that are especially vulnerable and have had, yeah. you know, a really hard time kind of not being able to see people. What Bear didn't say is when they were saying about how we've changed during COVID, we've done so much online. Who would have thought that Scouts would have spent nearly two years on Zoom? But it's had benefits from it, hasn't it? We've been able to communicate from groups from all around the world and get guests in that we probably wouldn't have got into our normal scout meetings. So, you know, I've had uh, the forensic lady who taught us about how to look at murder scenes. I had my friend Anna Humphreys, who actually works with Bear Grylls. She helped us with navigation. We've done cooking nights. We've done collaborations with scout groups in uh, probably every continent that you can think of. So, yeah, Bear should have expanded on that. Back to the interview. How will people actually go and access this? Where, where can they go? What will they do? How many hours a week is it? Give me the practicals, if you would. Well, I think one of the things is to service this, we need, you know, having these huge waiting lists, we need ever more volunteers. And I think in terms of volunteering, people sometimes think, oh, you know, would I have to give up a lot of time? Actually, just to say that this year, um, 4.6 million new adult volunteers signed up to be um, helping at Scouts. But Scouting works all around the world on busy people mm. giving a small amount of time, a lot of people giving a small amount of time. Two hours a week. <laughs> so even if it's somebody giving up an hour a month to go and help out in their community, help young people, you know, and there's so many cool new badges and stuff for uh, these Squirrel Scouts. So it's just see, we, we've now got our brilliant builders, you know, and... and uh, there's actually 35 badges for the Squirrels to complete. 35, that's amazing. Exciting experiments and, you know, all these fun things and explore outdoors and, you know, getting young people making camps out of blankets. So you don't need to be a rocket scientist to be a volunteer. It's just a, a willing heart and a, and a service heart. Well, 
And that's the thing, you don't need scouting experience to be a scout leader. As scout leaders, we know that there's so many jobs out there that you don't need to have those past experiences. And I never did when I joined scouting 13, 14 years ago. I never done any scouting. And that's the thing I think as scout leaders, we need to get out into the public more that the general public don't need all these scouting experiences. There's so many roles that you can do to get into scouting. And once you've done it, you learn on the job. Money skills badge, which you introduced this year, which I was delighted to see. Yeah. On the theme of money, forgive me for asking, but I see the children wearing uniforms uh, and you're talking about doing this in some deprived areas. Will you be giving them the jumpers and the neckties? Do they have to buy it? How much is it? What about those who can't afford it? See how Bear answers this one. That is all, there's a whole thing on this, on mm -hmm. the Scout website that answers all of this. But what I, what I know is we've done this in the toughest, most diverse, most underserved areas, and that's where it has flown. And really this is us responding to the fact that- Bear didn't answer that question completely, did it? So they are targeting squirrels in deprived areas. And what should be published a bit more is the um, deprived fund, yeah? So you can, uh, even as an adult, but in particular young people can apply for a, it's not a grant or anything like that. It's just um, if you need your uniform paid for and you haven't got enough money or going to camp uh, or you need some sub uh, or you need some money to to help um, pay for, you know, uh, uh, traveling or something like that. So, yeah, your district and also the county has a hardship fund and you contact your D.C. and apply there. But also, interestingly, just about the uniform, Martin asked Bear, it varies from group to group and even in my district. So, yep, um, everyone will buy their uniform, their top and their trousers, but each um, group will give the scarf and uh, or the necker <laughs> and the woggle and the badges um, and the badges are get, uh, paid for for part of your membership subscription. This is us responding to the fact that it's worked so well for those lower income families. You know, scouting yeah. above everything is available to people who so have very little. Check so it out and you'll be able to help people yeah. if yeah. they can't yeah. afford yeah. their kids a to wish go. Wish you because I, I don't. <laughs> Did they just ask Bear, will you be able to pay for scouts? <laughs> I think he just said as a wishy washy answer. Imagine Bear Grylls paying every scout subscription. The exact numbers, but it is all there. I'll the tell you what, I, I read it in the briefing and I was giving you a chance. It costs £13.50 for the jumper, <laughs> you give the necktie, and if people can't afford it, you will. £13.50? Depends where you buy it from, I guess. Provide the jumpers for them. Scouting teamwork. I love it. There we are. Oh, I love it. Always love be prepared, Grills. Be prepared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are. Good for you. So there we go. There was Bear's uh, interview on Good Morning Television just a few days on the launch day of Squirrels UK. And I thought I'd just expand some of those answers that Bear didn't fully answer. Just wanted to add two things. Uh, so Squirrels are four to five. And lots of questions going around the internet, social media. What happens between five and six? Because Beavers doesn't actually start until they're age six. Um, you can stay on. I'm not sure why it's advertised squirrels four to five when it's that little bit of leeway. Just like beavers, cub scouts, you can have a bit of leeway before and after. So that's one thing. Uh, but what I wanted to say is I'm loving the squirrel uniform, in particularly the color red. Now think about this. Logically, why is the color red with squirrels and the connection red squirrels? You got it? Yes, uh, I was going to pick up my Brownsea Island uh, scarf then, but I realised I haven't got it. It is because the connection with Scouts and Brownsea Island, and on Brownsea Island, they're full of red squirrels. That's why the squirrel top is red. Loving that touch, Scout HQ. Well done. Big thumbs up for that one. So, my question for you, um, is your group going to set up squirrels? Are you, are you excited to have a Dre? in your group it'd be quite fun wouldn't it but i think for my group we were looking at it um we have a nursery that run till six o'clock and the squirrels they're talking about doing a five to six kind of slot so maybe doing it at the weekend um then you won't have to rush home from work and also the little squirrels have time to have dinner straight from school and then go off to squirrels so maybe something to think about in the new year of setting up a dray at your group and running it at the weekend don't know or maybe you have set up a dray colony let me know comment below i'd love to know if your one have a dray already set up or maybe you're considering it
Oh, there we go, guys. Uh, until next time, guys, don't forget to subscribe to Big Man the Woods. Click that notification bell, and that will tell you every time I upload a new vlog. Don't forget, watch this players here. So all that scouting. Until next time, guys, happy camping, and take care. Bye.